this Titan Feet Jacket. I'm back at you today. Today we're gonna take a look at the honorable mentions, the sneakers that did not make my top 15 countdown here in the year of 2022. But before we get into that, I need a couple of things from you. Need you to hit that like button on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the countdown thus far. And do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I return with the rest of the countdown. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, sub up to the channel. Now we're gonna jump right into it because it was some sneakers to come out and some of them just didn't make the cut but yet they deserve to be seen. We're gonna take a look at them today. We're gonna get it started. The first sneaker in my honorable mentions is not a popular shoe. We're gonna bring it out. We got the LeBron James, the LeBron 9, Watch the Thrones. These did release here in 2022. It was a dope sneaker. Not a lot of people like this, like basketball sneakers. Uh, I just don't know what's wrong with the uh, sneaker culture. The love for basketball sneakers, there is none right now. There isn't any love for basketball sneakers anymore. This is a dope sneaker, very good. Excuse me, very comfortable sneaker. And it's one of my honorable mentions. 2022 the LeBron 9 watch the throne okay next on the list of honorable mentions this sneaker came out in a pack of three and I happen to have all three of them I have reviews on all three of the sneakers it's a collab between Nike and uh, this guy Chris Gibbs y'all know who we're talking about none other than the Union Passport pack the cool purple colorway the Argon and the Pistachio this one was really hard to get the pistachio. This was the last one I needed to complete the pack. But here we go. The pistachio. And here is the Argon colorway. Shout out to Sidney Poitier. That's his silhouette underneath here from the Rising Sun movie. And this is the coat purple. These were the first pair that I got. It's the only pair that I was able to obtain locally. The other two I received via Trade Block. So shout out to Trade Block for getting me these sneakers. It's another sneaker or sneakers in the honorable mention category, the Union Passport Dunk Low. Okay, the next sneaker in my honorable mentions here in the year of 2022. Uh, the sneaker was sitting on the shelf in my local boutique for for a couple of days, but I happened to be out of town for my birthday. Uh, my birthday is in June. And, uh, when they gave this sneaker the nickname, prices jacked up and the, uh, the stores couldn't keep them in stock. I'm talking about none other than the Air Max 1 Tree Line, aka the Skunk. Dope sneaker, very good, nice colorway. You can rock it year round in my opinion. You got some fall colors, you got some bright colors. Right there on the swoosh, I like it a lot. The Air Max One Tree Line on a skunk. Okay guys, it's warming up in here. The next sneaker on uh, my honorable mentions is an Air Max One as well. It's rumored that it was a pack with the last sneaker that I just showed. We talking about the Air Max 1 Light Matter Root. Dope sneaker. I missed getting my size on release day. So I played the waiting game, the patient game. And I was able to get these for retail. There was a restock online. I believe it was uh, Sneaker Politics, I believe. And I got the sneaker shipped to me. Ain't nothing like a retail cop, but this is another dope sneaker in my honorable mentions. The Nike Air Max 1 Light Matter Root. Yes, guys, another sneaker that made my honorable mention list. Uh, it's actually two sneakers they made. Uh, they made a pack out of these. These came out, I believe the pack was called a full suede pack. I do have a review on the channel of these sneakers. Uh, and I'm not sure you're gonna see these in anyone else's uh countdown of 2022 i'm talking about none other than the Saucony full suede pack and the uh the salmon and the uh the 
green. Let me see what green this is called. This is called emerald green. In the emerald green colorway. Oh, dope sneakers. Look how quality the materials are on these. Not too many people be rocking with the softness, but I mean, if the sneaker looks good, it's comfy quality materials, and you can supply your boy with that size 14 or 15, depending on how the sneaker runs, count me in. But this is another sneaker on the honorable mentions list, the Saucony 6000 full suede pack in the emerald green and the salmon colorway. I do not have the third one, which is the tan. The next sneaker on my honorable mentions calm down. It, uh, it surprised a few people when they got them in hand. Nobody was really checking for the sneaker. Uh, I wore this sneaker already. That's how much I like it. Uh, we talking about an Air Jordan 1. It's a low. I'm going to bring it out. Yes, the Air Jordan 1 low. The, uh, I think it's EX or X, something like that. But I did make a video on it and a lace swap. But you see, excuse me, got the X exposure right here kind of reminds you of an off-white or Virgil collab didn't get a lot of play didn't see on uh, a lot of top countdowns probably won't but it is a dope sneaker lightweight one of the best John one lows to come out in 2022 and this is on my honorable mention Yes, guys, another sneaker on my honorable mentions. We're gonna bring it out, speed this up. We got the Nike Air Max One Blueprint. Yep, I wore these already too. Dope sneaker, quality materials on it. Uh, not sure a lot of people uh, were going for these, but these, is, these are nice. Look at the material right here on the toe box. Yes, guys, the Air Max One. Blueprint is on the honorable mention list. Okay, okay, guys, we coming down to my top two in the honorable mentions. Uh, yep, we do have a Jordan on here. We have another Jordan on here. I'm gonna just go ahead and bring it out. Yep, there it is, the Air Jordan Retro One Rebellion. There, we got that red X on here, resembling uh, they playing off of when Mike was banned from wearing the shoes. They put that red X on the back and they got the writing all over saying you can't stop me from wearing them now. Basically, they have that all over the shoe, fine print on the heel and around the collar, and you have it big on your uh, quarter panels and your toe and your mud guard. But this was a uh, dope sneaker, too. Didn't get a lot of love this year. Probably not gonna see it on anyone's top countdowns, but. The Rebellion there was a dope sneaker and it deserved to be seen in 2022. Last but not least guys, this is my favorite sneaker on this honorable mention list. I've worn the sneaker a couple of times. It is not a popular silhouette. I was speaking about it earlier. We talking about the LeBron 9 Big Bangs. This is fire. Not sure why basketball sneakers don't get that love anymore. But if you want to get a pair of these, you can go on StockX or, well, no, I take that back. Don't go to StockX. Go to eBay sneakers or go to the GOAT app. And you can get these at under retail, guys, if you really like these. These are dope. I wish I could wait it out to uh, get these for under retail, but these side fitting things just don't sit around for you to wait and cut and cop them. So, this is the top sneaker in my uh, honorable mention list. So tell me your thoughts on my honorable mention list. Do come back on tomorrow when I reveal the top five sneakers of my countdown. I also have a treat for you guys tomorrow as well. I'm gonna drop a couple videos tomorrow. I'm gonna have a prelude revealing of my top five. So until then, I'm gonna roll out, but before I go, like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker, because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.